Hey, I'm Andrea, and this is my friends a Grisquok. How it began. My best friend, Alex, is a Grisquok. I know what you're thinking. What's a Grisquok? Well, I didn't know either. But then I found out Alex's secret. And this is how it happened. Early one Saturday morning, I popped over to Alex's house. Just as I rang his doorbell, a drop of rain splashed on my cheek. I looked up at the grey sky, and then I saw someone at the bedroom window. It was Alex's awful little sister, Polly. Alex opened the front door. Hi, Mike, he said with a grin. Come in. Mum's out, so we've got the house to ourselves for a while. I thought Polly's bedroom was at the back of the house, I said. It is, Alex said. Why? Well, I saw her in the front bedroom, I said. She's making funny faces at me out the window. I pointed up at her. Very funny faces. What? Alex stepped outside to see what was going on. I started to make faces back at Polly. I pulled my lips one way and my cheeks the other and screwed up my eyes. Mike, you're as bad as Polly. Come on. Alex grabbed my arm and dragged me into the house. He kicked the door shut behind us and ran upstairs. I wondered what all the fuss was about as I ran after him. I soon found out. Alex went straight to his mum and dad's bedroom. He turned the door handle, but the door didn't open. She's, she's locked the door. Alex was so angry. He bent to peer through the keyhole, and then he stood up almost at once. Polly, open this door right this second, he yelled. Behind the door, I could hear Polly laughing her head off. Alex hammered on the door. Polly, I'm warning you. If you don't come out, I'll tell mom and dad, and then you'll be in major trouble. Alex bent to peep through the keyhole again. What's she doing? I asked. Spraying mom's posh perfume all over herself, Alex shouted. I bit my lip to stop myself from laughing out loud. I should have never taken my eyes off her, Alex said. Not for a moment. Mom warned me not to leave her by herself. It's not your fault, I began. You'll just have to. But Alex wasn't listening. Polly, he shouted. Polly, don't you dare. What's the matter? What's she doing now? I asked. Rats, she's just turned herself into a bird and she's... Oops. Alex slapped his hand over his mouth as he turned to look at me. Rats, my mouth is bigger than the number 19 bus. I stared at him. What did you say? Polly's turned herself into a... What? A... Uh, a bird, Alex said. A robin, I think. And she's flying around the room. I put my fingers into my ears and wiggled them about. My ears aren't working, I said. It sounded like you just said Polly had turned into a bird. She has. She's a robin, Alex said. His eye was pressed to the keyhole again. Alex, I think that keyhole is doing something to your eyes or your brain, I said. Alex stood up and turned to me. Mike, can you keep a secret, he asked. Of course I can. What is it? I'm going to tell you something, he said but you must promise that you'll never tell anyone else, not even your mom and dad. And you must promise not to tell my mom and dad that I told you. I promise, I said right away. All right then, I think, you, I think it'll be easier if I just show you. Hold on to my jumper. Why do I have to? Never mind that now, Alex said. We don't have much time. 
We've got to get in there before it's too late. Polly is going to hurt herself. She doesn't know what she's doing. But we can't get through a locked door, I said. Grab hold of my jumper, Alex ordered. I did as he said. Ready? He asked. Ready for what? I'll explain later, he said. Here we go. So, what do you think is Alex's secret? And if he told you, would you tell your mom and dad?